2026 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Started off a little bit on the cloudy side, but then as we went into the afternoon, these mid and upper level clouds started to break apart. And we got a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. Not too bad to kick off or really just end the weekend. But as we turn the page to tomorrow, we are tracking some changes. Storm Shield radar quiet right now, but as we're talking at this time tomorrow, things will be changing drastically as we're watching a storm system make its way into parts of the Midwest. Pretty quiet also across the Badger State, but some mid and upper level clouds starting to build in ahead of this storm system moving across the east from the west. Here's one low pressure. It's a weak clipper, but it will start to intensify. And then we have a secondary low pressure down to the south over Texas. As these two systems will combine together somewhere around northern Illinois into Indiana. And as they do so, it's going to intensify one single system afterwards to bring us some snowfall here in northeast Wisconsin. Winter weather advisories all the way from the Rockies through the northern plains, parts of the Midwest, and closer here into the Badger State, we have winter weather advisories from Illinois into southern and central and northern Wisconsin. Now for the southern tier of the state, if any of you are driving tomorrow, there will be some freezing drizzle, freezing rain. That's why they have that winter weather advisory. But farther to the northeast over our area, we're going to be preliminarily uh, focusing on rain or snowfall. So that's why we have that advisory for us. For tonight, we cool down into the lower to mid-20s, and then the clouds also gradually increase into the morning hours tomorrow. And then during the day tomorrow, the snowfall quickly covers, and we could see also a little bit of a wintry mix, especially for our southern tier counties, even maybe a rain uh, changeover over parts of Sheboygan County. But the rest of us should see mostly just snowfall throughout the whole event, especially along and north of the Fox Valley. Then the snow does start to taper off late tomorrow evening, but you see we're at 1 a.m. Uh, this is New Year's Day, still a few lingering snow showers. So throughout the day tomorrow, it's going to be very messy on the roads, especially towards the afternoon and uh, evening. We're thinking about three to six inches of snowfall for a good chunk of the viewing area. But farther northwest that you live, up towards Anago, northern Menominee, and Marinette counties, Probably just about a dusting to an inch or so. It's going to be a sharp gradient with the snowfall cutoff to our northwestern part of the viewing area. Then the rest of us between anywhere from one to as much as six inches of snowfall. Right now, temperatures 30 degrees in Green Bay. We're in the upper teens in Anago and 21 in Mountain, 28 in Sheboygan. 30 in Fond du Lac. Winds coming in out of the south and southwest at about uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour. For some locations, others, we're seeing calm winds right now. But the winds will start to pick up later on as we get towards the day tomorrow, straight out of the northeast, and could add maybe a little bit of enhancement as well to the snowfall. 23 overnight tonight with southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then they change out of the northeast tomorrow, 33 for a high temperature, and it will be a breezy day, and also that snowfall could maybe linger into New Year's Day, a few flurries. Then Wednesday, the coldest day of the next seven days, 17. And then that snowfall that accumulates will start to melt by Friday and Saturday. There you go. Better get your sleds ready, right? You, that, you know? <laughs> there, yeah, the, the sleds, the shovels, the ice scrapers, get it all. Yes, absolutely. Well,